Well, you've already read the thumbnail so and the title, so you know what we're talking about here. This is the Matrix Audio Mini i4 DAC and music streamer. Let's get it. What's cracking, audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So the Mini i4, this guy is coming in at a price of $649. Now inside of here, in terms of the DAC chip, you're looking at an ES9039 Q2M from ESS, and it's got all kinds of features. We'll talk about it. First of all, in terms of design, you've got this aluminium chassis with a sort of ridged plastic black plastic sides on the front there you can see already it's got a led display i think it's a 3.46 inch display and it's pretty nice it's got good colors nice clear text and everything on the front here we've got some capacitive touch buttons if i can find them there they are the ones on the right change the volume and the ones on the left well they cycle through your various input options and you can also access some further settings from here by swiping to the left and also if you swipe to the right you have to set this screen up and you can choose which icons you want to appear but yeah this is just a quick way to select which input that you want without cycling through them right so starting off we've got our AC input We've got an Ethernet port next up, and then there is a USB-C input. And this is for connecting external devices, like if you've got an external hard drive or a NAS, example. for example. You can hook it up to there and browse your files. And what's pretty cool, it, uh, the Mini i4 will create its library automatically. Then we've got the USB-B for canooking. <laughs> connecting directly to your PC so you can use it just as a, a regular DAC. Then you've got your HDMI or ARC input here, optical input, coaxial input, and then of course we've got an analog input or RCA input followed by the output section which gives you the option of RCA unbalanced out or balanced XLR outputs. Now powering all of this is a Quad Cortex A55 2 GHz processor and like I said the ES9039 Q2M DAC chip. Um, what couple of interesting things about this device internally before we get into the more of the features is it's got a sign signal to noise ratio of 120 dB from the RCA output and an even more remarkable 127 dB from the XLR output those are good numbers. If you don't know what they mean, trust me, it means the, the, there's very little background noise. You're basically just getting the pure analog signal coming out. Moving on to the features now, and I'll preface this section by highlighting a couple of features that this device does not have. The first one, and it's quite an important one, this device does not have any form of wireless connectivity, meaning there's no Wi-Fi and there's no Bluetooth functionality. Instead, it relies on an Ethernet connection to access your local area network. And the second feature that the Mini i4 lacks is any kind of digital output. So if you want to use this as a sort of streaming digital transport, you can't do that here. Shifting our focus now to the features that are indeed present, and we'll start with the MA Player app or the MA remote. And you can see there, I am on the sort of album, currently playing album screen. If I go to this top right icon here, you can see it gives you a sort of a quick menu. You can adjust the volume from there and you can select your various inputs. You can select your uh, filter setting, digital filter setting, and you can mute the audio and if we go back again, there's your, there's my uh, music list, which is on my currently streaming from my PC, which is also on the home network. Now you can go into the settings here and configure a whole bunch of stuff, you know, turn on the gapless and whatnot, do some 
customization options in there which is pretty cool so overall it's a pretty solid app the only thing i'm struggling with and i don't know if this is just me but when i browse the albums list here as you can see there is no album art so you rely have to rely on reading the titles or the the album names and that's a bit of a bummer i don't know why those icons don't show up because if you just select any one oh that one doesn't have if you select any album like that you do see the album art so why doesn't it show on the main screen here who knows that is a bit of a mystery but that's a quick look real quick look at the ma app i'm not going to delve any more any further into that obviously that app is compatible with iphones ipads and android devices one other thing that I forgot to mention about the app is it also lets you, it tells you if there's a firmware update and you can update the firmware via the Matrix Player app. And since I've had this device, I've already done, they've already released two firmware updates. So they're, you know, they're working on it. There's regular updates. That is a good thing. And having that app is very important because this guy does not come with a physical remote unfortunately if you pay several hundred dollars more for the mini i4 pro that one does come with the remote included but this one does not however you can purchase the remote separately but it would have been nice to have it in the box here and by the way that remote is called the rm5 and it retails for around 50 dollars the MA app also boasts integrations like Rune Ready, which is currently undergoing certification, but it will be Rune Ready soon. DLNA, UPnP, AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, and Tidal Connect. Moreover, it grants access to platforms natively such as Tidal, Cobuzz, and Hi Res Audio. And there's also a bunch of internet radio stations, almost unlimited number of radio internet radio stations available through it as well so for my test setup i basically had this integrated into my lan or local area network via the ethernet port i also had it connected directly to my pc via the usb b yeah the b usb b port now in terms of output i had this hooked up to firstly my topping l70 headphone amplifier and I also connected it up to my Kali Audio LP8 studio monitors. Right, I think I've covered pretty much all of the features. I've probably missed things here and there. If I have missed anything that you would like to know about, leave a question in the comments below and I'll try to answer any questions. Now, moving on to the sound. And the Mini i4 is characterized by its core attributes of neutrality and transparency and true to its mission the mini i4 seamlessly transforms digital bits into a canvas of analog splendor all while refraining from introducing any unwarranted coloration so basically transparent and neutral at the opposite end the treble registers as precise and intricate and auditory embroidery if you will that maintains its clarity even in the most intricate or busy complex passages. Now, the mid-range emerges as this bastion of richness and expressiveness, yet its character doesn't veer into bias. Like I said, it straddles the fine line between analytical precision and engaging musicality. This equilibrium ensures that you get a nice holistic and an unbiased musical experience. And Despite its linear presentation though, the Mini i4 manages to summon a natural and an organic landscape. While adhering to that uncolored delivery, it successfully evokes the emotive resonance and authenticity. The result is an immersion in music that feels both lifelike and emotionally resonant. Micro details, often the hallmark of distinction in the realm of DAX, are an undeniable forte of the Mini i4. In a landscape brimming with contenders, the Mini i4 confidently strides forward, unabashedly rivaling discrete DAX within its price bracket. Yet it does so without embellishment or without romanticizing the sound. 
Instead, it embraces a foundation of transparency and candor, contributing to an audio landscape that's refreshingly authentic and unadulterated. And the verdict is unmistakable. The Matrix Audio Mini i4 DAC and music streamer is an embodiment of sonic integrity. It sounds absolutely delightful. In a world that sometimes veers towards embellishments, the Mini i4 stands resolute, delivering a sound that is honest, transparent, and utterly compelling. So it does what it says on the tin very well. It is It works great as a streamer, um, pretty flawlessly in fact. And the only thing I would say, just keep in mind that this doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You'll need to plug it into an Ethernet or the your LAN, your local LAN. And in addition to that, it does not come with a physical remote, although there is one available sold separately. So guys, that is the Matrix Audio Mini i4. Look, this is an excellent device. If it had Wi-Fi and a headphone output section, this could be my go-to sort of end game at a very affordable price. And in fact, this one, or even without those features, it performs really, really well for the price range, even though it is kind of expensive, not really so much in the world of DACs, which go into the thousands, but for a network streamer and DAC, this is uh, this performs really, really well. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Is this something that you are interested in adding to your home system? And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, Parfam Audio File Style. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you later.